Developing tonight, a nearly 24 hour search for this man accused in a Zachary shooting is now over. Miranda Thomas has been following this case. She is live with new details about the capture of Miranda. Guys, police believe that Jack Ely Jr. was the suspect involved. He's now taken to a hospital and expected to be taken to a prison later. Now I have with me Chief Lawrence and he's going to tell us a little bit about what in, went into catching the suspect. Hey, today we uh, gathered together as a group of different law enforcement agencies uh, to make a search in the area of where, where the vehicle actually uh, wrecked. But, uh, we got a call from a concerned citizen that saw the suspect on uh, Plank Road near the Paris line. So we all got together and went to that area, um, brought our DCI's dogs, and was able to locate the subject in the uh, wooded area behind those homes. Do you guys know anything about what led to the shooting? At this time, we don't. Um, detectives will be questioning the suspect to see if uh, we can come up with a, a motive for the shooting. But at this time, we don't. We don't have a. We don't have a motive. But that's for the victim. He is expected to be okay. The last we got, uh, the victim was still in critical, but uh, he was expected to live. So tell me, what goes into you guys uh, receiving information from uh, people? Because I was told that that's what helped you guys catch the suspect. It absolutely was. Uh, we, it, this is this is what's called, you know, com community to uh, our, to, our togetherness. Uh, our community uh, believes in that police department, and we believe in community. So we got an anonymous tip from a citizen that actually helped us out here. So we want to continue those relationships with our citizens, where they feel comfortable if, that if they see something, that they'll call us and let us know what they see and what what is going on in those particular areas so we can actually handle those things. And so the, as for the suspect, um, he's supposed to be taken to the East Feliciana prison, is that correct? Correct. He's supposed to, he's, uh, he will be booked in East Feliciana on uh, attempted second degree murder charges. And is, is he expected to get any more charges, but, uh, being that you guys had to travel from parish to parish and it was a police sure. uh, and I, I'm sure um, he'll be charged with, and I don't know exactly what he'll be charged with in East Feliciana uh, once he's uh, once he's up there. Um, not sure what those charges are going to be, but I know for sure he will have some other charges. Is there anything else that you want the community to know um, that went into this? We just uh, want our community to know that, that when we're elected, we say that we're going to make it a top priority to keep our community safe, to build those bridges between us and the community so that we can continue to do that. So we're, we're, we're building those bridges. We're, we're, we're uh, working with our community because Everybody knows that we don't just solve crimes by ourselves. It, it's, uh, it's a team effort between the community and the police department. Thank you, Chief Lawrence. That's all we have now. But when we get more information, we'll be sure to update you guys with that for now. In Zachary, I'm Miranda Thomas. Back to you guys. All right, Miranda, thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.